on everybody welcome back to another video here on the simply car things youtube channel thank you so much for tuning in as always and before we get into today's video if you could go ahead and smash that thumbs up button as well as subscribe to my youtube channel down below i would appreciate it immensely it just helps the youtube algorithm reach a number of other viewers that would potentially be interested in similar types of content. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a deep dive into the BMW competition package regarding specifically the F80 and F82, M3 and M4. Again, this is going to be pertaining specifically to the F8X generation. Obviously, the newer BMWs don't necessarily have a competition package anymore. The competition moniker is now its own model. There's just a separate competition model it applies to the m2 it applies to the g80s and yeah i'll probably cover those in a separate video down the road so what we're going to do is we're going to focus a little bit on what the competition package included specifically and then from there we'll transition into my take as to whether or not i think it's worth it uh, to sort of get a competition package equipped bmw m3 or m4 so let's not waste any more time and let's get right into it. So, sorry, I had to just give this thing a little pull. Anyway, what does the competition package include specifically for the F80 and the F82? Well, it included revised suspension from the ground up. So the competition package only comes with the EDC or M adaptive suspension, which has revised damper tuning. The spring rates have also been revised and the anti-roll bars or the sway bars as we call them here in the US have also been revised quite a bit. The Active M limited slip differential along with the car's DSC or traction control system has also been retuned or revised, uh, particularly because the I think it's pretty, you know, a, a common consensus to sort of understand that these cars can feel a little bit unsettled at times. Uh, they can feel a little bit unpredictable with the back end at times as well. And part of the competition package aim was to sort of, you know, uh, quell some of those issues per se with the traction of this car. And adding on to the suspension and diff tuning, there's also been an increase in the horsepower of the vehicle. So the standard M3 and M4 makes 425 horsepower, 406 pound-feet of torque. The competition package model basically increased that power figure to approximately 444 horsepower. And the torque figure stayed the same because as we all know, these cars they really have no shortage in torque. So that equates to a, a zero to 60 difference from roughly 4.1, 4.2 seconds with the standard car to about 3.9 to four seconds. Big difference, right? And ultimately it comes down to your tires, you know, the conditions of the launch that you're doing and a number of other factors, but I thought I'd throw that in as a quick mention. Uh, some of the other competition package differences or additions included the high gloss trim or the shadow line trim as many others would call it. So gloss black exterior elements, the kidney grills, the little side M4 badging on the fender is blacked out now, black badge, black exhaust tips, and you also got the absolutely beautiful style 666M star spoke competition package wheels which are 20 inches and they look absolutely stunning on the interior there were also a few other differences the standard f80 and f82 seats were tweaked slightly uh, basically the inserts on the seats came with these holes or basically open passages between them uh, it makes for a very cool look and supposedly reduces the weight on the seats but Aside from that, I'm not sure if there's any other functional advantage regarding the seats. However, you know, they look cool <laughs> and it is kind of cool that they sort of uh, were differentiated just amongst the you know, base model M3 and M4. The seatbelts were also changed slightly because they added the M striping to the seatbelts, which is another very small but cool touch nevertheless. And the exhaust system, which is the ZCP exhaust system exclusive to these cars, was also tweaked. Basically, the muffler is chambered a little bit differently and has a slightly less amount of sound deadening within it to basically add a little more resonance, a little bit more of a sporty tone from the exhaust system. And there was some uh, burble that was programmed into the exhaust from the factory as well. It just adds to sort of the sporty character. Now, the real question is, does this 
you know, these changes, do they actually amount to anything different or anything noticeable with the car? And the short answer is yes, they do. A competition package equipped M3 or M4 actually drives quite a bit better than the standard version, puts the power down a little bit better, it just feels a little more athletic, and it looks better too, in my opinion, especially with those really nice wheels, sounds a little better too. But again, this is kind of where it comes down to whether or not it's worth it. If you're the type of person that is going to be modifying the crap out of your M3 or M4, you want to put a full-on exhaust system, you want to tune it, upgrade turbos, downpipes, put coilovers on it, you want to track it, roll race, whatever the case is, you don't need a competition package car because the aftermarket support that is available to these cars is virtually endless and it will basically fix any of those quote unquote issues that the standard car has. However, if you're the type of person that is going to be buying one of these cars without the intention of really modifying it heavily and just want sort of like an OEM plus clean daily driver, maybe you'll lower it, you know, maybe you'll put some nice wheels on it, whatever the case is, uh, but you're not, your intention isn't a whole lot with this car, then I'd say it's largely worth it to get the competition package just because of all of those factory benefits and those factory upgrades, particularly with the suspension. The OEM competition suspension is actually really, really good out the box. And also the way that the DSC system and the limited slip diff has been tuned, uh, just the car feels a little bit more planted and it also just kind of puts the power down better, which is, it, it's just something that's very, very appreciated. Uh, my car, for those of you that don't know, is not a competition package equipped car. And while it has been modified somewhat extensively, I guess you could say, um, you know, out the box, it, it's a fun car and it's a good car, but it's not on the competition package level. And I'd say that's truly where the advantage is, especially again, if you're not planning on changing anything, you're not planning on tweaking anything in terms of modifications or whatever, then comp package is worth it and definitely go for it. You know, the other thing that's interesting is that these cars are no longer in production. 2020 was the final model year for them. We've moved on to an entirely new generation of M3 and M4. So if you are looking for one of these cars, you're going to be looking for one that's used. And sometimes if you can swing a comp package car, for the same price as like a non-comp car that you were looking at, then definitely go for that. You know, I'd say it's worth it, I, especially if you're not paying the added premium. Uh, but if it comes down to it, you know, and, and if you plan on modding your car and doing all those sorts of things that I had previously mentioned, again, I'm gonna reiterate, I sound like a broken record, but you don't need it. And that's just the, the hard and simple truth uh, regarding this matter. So. That is sort of gonna sum up my thoughts for this video, guys. Just a quick one. Again, I wanted to discuss this topic because a lot of people have been asking me specifically within the YouTube comment section and on Instagram DMs. So I thought I would address it within a video and I hope it brought some insight to you guys and make, you know, hopefully help uh, within the buying process of your own car. So once again, if you could go ahead and smash that thumbs up button, guys, if you could subscribe to my channel down below if you have not done so already, I would appreciate that a ton. So happy to be back on YouTube and uploading again for you guys. I love making these videos. I will catch you all in the next one. Have a great day. Take it easy, everyone.